Cowboy Jim, uh, thank you for um, for watching. Um, I watched a Soviet Russia tank uh, coming into Kiev. Uh, a Ukrainian uh, car, sedan car, uh, on the same road in Kiev. Uh, the car was uh, meeting the Soviet tank and the Soviet tank uh, turned hard left, crossed over and purposefully and intentionally ran over the car, quite obviously bearing civilians because the army. Uh, Ukrainian army wouldn't be running in a, a black sedan. And I listen and I hear um, uh, brilliant moves in some ways and other stupidness. Uh, Biden, um, NATO, everyone knew that this was co going to go down in the Ukraine. So why wait for the last minute? It's kind of like um, Ukraine asked Obama for help. Oh, Obama said, we're going to help you, children. I think it's 2014. Oh, we are going to help you. And Obama sent the Ukraine prepared meals for, for their army. What Ukraine wanted were guns, ammunition, not bloody meals. I mean, meals on wheels, that's not going to win a war. Um, I've been listening to several people speaking about uh, Putin not being himself and speaking about, he has a different look in his eyes. Uh, there's a a craziness about him um, that he has somewhat grandiose thoughts about himself being one day compared to Peter the Great, Vladimir the Great. You don't kill women and children. You don't. You don't do that, and. There is a spiritual side to people who go crazy and it is um, a demonic thing. It is, so, hey, well, who gives a rat's ass? Um, um, a person um, like Putin can very easily be demonically um, influenced. It's simple. It's it's where you look at a person, and I've had the privilege and the honor of uh, praying for some quite a few people who manifested evil spirits and demons, someone like that, and there is a like a clear lens that falls over their eyes when the demon is uh, altering and playing with their personalities. And the people act crazy. Putin's acting crazy. And um, so let's leave that part alone because people don't want to hear that. And I don't blame you. Jeez. Last thing in the world I ever wanted was to pray for the, deliver the deliverance of a person who is demon possessed, oppressed, whatever. Who cares? Well, the person probably would care if they were in the right mind. But anyway, so they say, um, and I'm telling you, I do not think I will ever get over seeing that tank cut across the road and run over that sedan car. Uh, Tiamen Square, uh, that young man that stood there and let himself be run over by the tank because he believed in something that was greater and bigger than himself. Those 13 Ukrainian soldiers, uh, 
I do hope so, that they were at peace with God. My uncle, he said, Jimmy, there are, there are no atheists in the foxholes of war. When it's going down and hell looks like it's uh, about to engulf you as an individual, that's when you learn how to pray with a degree of sincerity that is staggering. Those 13 soldiers uh, on that island with a warship, a, a blessed warship that come up to them and said, you know, surrender. And they told uh, the warship to F off. There's a, <laughs> we don't need to go into the explanation of that word. But from a, um, an Irish Christian perspective, I shout encouragement to those 13 men that use that word. I would have used that word gladly because tyrannical behavior and attitude is not to be allowed. It's not, but it happens. It, it happens. Stupidity happens as well. Biden, in getting in touch with Xi Jinping, whatever, Xi Jinping, whatever, the killer over there in China, uh, you know, the, the one who got COVID going real good, softened the world up a bit. Uh, Biden asked him to help the United States of America to deal with Putin. Well, Putin and China are, are blood kin almost. I mean, their aims are the same. I mean, look at scripture. Jeez. Perhaps you shouldn't look at scripture. It would just scare the hell out of you because this could, jeez, this, this could uh, be a preamble for a whole lot of other stuff that's written in the last two and a half chapters of Zechariah. So Biden, in his wisdom, um, <laughs> is now sending help and so on. Uh, it's very good. A bit late, by six months, according to the one Ukrainian parliamentary lady that was interviewed yesterday, I think, she said they'd been asking for help for six months. For the last and six months, they've been asking for um, the countries of the world to implement resistance to Putin, to put sanctions on him. Donald Trump, that's what he did. And it counted for something because people never knew if Donald were really in his right mind or not. And they were scared of him. But he was in his right mind and is in his right mind. And Joe Biden is not in his right mind. Probably hasn't been in his right mind for years. If he had been... Uh, he would not have given uh, Putin the go-ahead to take Trump's sanctions off the pipeline to Germany and all across Europe. That's where Putin makes his dollar. One a billion dollars a day is what Putin gets out of the pipeline that Joe Biden allowed him to reopen. But Joe Biden shut down the Keystone Pipeline. And now he's bemoaning the fact that he has no bloody oil, natural gas. He's been importing $4.7 billion uh, worth of oil a day or some stupid thing. Well, I have to get my figures a little better. Uh, fortunately, most of that, half of that, is coming from Canada. Uh, would be going a lot quicker if it were not for the idiot shutting down the Keystone Pipeline. 
How stupid can a man be? He is a Democrat, and he wants to eliminate the use of all fossil fuel and become a green, green. So that's pretty bloody stupid, as evidenced by what he's doing. So Biden goes and asks the Middle East, uh, could you cut back on this on the production of your uh, or in well that last week two weeks ago he was asking them to cut back on the production of of um, oil uh, now he's asking them to increase the production of oil because uh, the U.S. really need it. I think Putin is crazy. Uh, probably on the spiritual side of things, probably demonic influence, all that crap. I think Joe Biden is just just whacked in the head, eh? I mean, just about as crazy as a loon. He wouldn't say such stupid things. Is it Kamala Harris? She's over in NATO, talking to NATO. It says, do you guys realize that we could have a war here in Europe? Well, you dumb woman. I am so used to women being <laughs> an IQ a whole lot higher than the average guy and smart. Well, evidently, Biden and Kamala Harris, they kind of missed out on both those. So anyways, uh, pray for Ukraine. The question is, uh, it's been asked all day. I've been listening all day. Uh, do you think uh, Putin is going to quit uh, when he takes over the Ukraine? I don't think so. It depends. If this is like end time crap, which could be, I don't know. But if it is, Putin's not going to quit with the Ukraine. He, like I said a week or two ago, he's going to take one little country after another. And now he's talking about using nuclear. He, he could. You'll probably have Kamala Harris saying, do we have nuclear weapons? People, when you vote people into power, don't do it because of skin color. Don't do it because of political persuasion of the people. Do it because they're intelligent and they process thought. Well, we, we up here, we have uh, Prime Minister Trudeau, Biden in the States, Macron, Putin, Xi Jinping, whatever. Well, we're in trouble, children, so pray. Okay? Pray. Just a suggestion. Kick the dust, knock the dust off your old Bible. Take the Bible, read Revolution or Revelations. Read First John. Read John three sixteen. But when you read Revelation, you read the last two and a half, three chapters of Zechariah. It'd scare the hell out of you. It's fact. God bless. God bless.